It's Friday, it's Addy Day, and it's 90 degrees up in this bitch. I am not turning off that fan. Sorry for the wind tunnel noise. Um, like MJ, um, it is really hot in my house and I am not turning off that fan. You will see sweat running down my face. So no. To all you new iPhoners, I hate you. I still love my Blackberry though. Lisa, the cock jokes never get old. <laughs> I think the roomies should get to name your cock and he should make cameos. What the hell else good is that stupid cock? Anyway, give him a job. <laughs> Lizzie, you wanted to know what vacation we took when we were young that we really liked. And I loved going to Lake Pimatuming. And that is a lake that is half in Ohio and half in Pennsylvania. And it's kind of close to Erie. My grandparents um, had a cottage there it's really just a mobile home that we uh, kind of made it so it can't move anymore. But we call it a cottage. But anyway, we used to go there for two weeks and I loved going up there because it was kind of like our place. And there's a beach and a flea market and bingo and good times. So in light of recent events, um, I wanted to point you all to a video that I made last summer and it was kind of a tribute to both Farrah Fawcett and Prince Charles. If you want to know why those two have any connection whatsoever, make sure you see the week before's videos. <laughs> I put a link to that in the sidebar, and um, if you want to look at that, I thought of that today, actually, when um, I heard of Farrah's death. So, rest in peace, Farrah, who I believe is Farrah Lewin's namesake. So, um... She obviously, obviously, um, was a great person and had a lot of influence on everybody's lives and it's very sad to lose someone like her, especially so young to breast cancer. So keep her and her family in your thoughts and prayers. In that same token, I have to say I'm way more upset about Michael Jackson's death. Um, Thriller actually came out four years before I was born. <laughs> I just made Lisa feel old. And I have to say that that is hands down my favorite album ever. I actually said that in my silent vlog, which is also from last summer. I'm crushed that he's no longer here and he also died so young. 50, 50. Oh shit, that's scary, man. On that note though, on a happy note, hopefully, I would really like my roomie challenge for this week to be leave video responses as to what your favorite Michael Jackson song was and why. Don't put the song in the video because YouTube might actually take it down, but I know that Michael Jackson has his own YouTube channel and uh, you can link to whatever song or video you want there. I'll put a link in the sidebar for that as well. Say which is your favorite and why and if you don't like Michael Jackson then you're really you're not allowed to video respond ever again you've been banned okay not really but you should love him and if you don't um, we need to talk oh here's a happy note for those of you who have followed 55 in the past um, it's me and four other ladies who are doing fitting it in and we started doing this oh gosh back in February maybe March and we kind of fell off the face of the planet for a while but we're back so if you want to um, eat healthy get good exercise tips get motivation make sure you check out our channel and subscribe and I think you'll be pleasantly surprised we're revamping it and um, hoping to get fit so excited about that That's it for me guys um, I hope you all have a good weekend. I can't wait to see your video responses. And I love you guys. I miss you guys. I wish you were here. Mwah.